everyone, my name is Anakin Stan and I'm really happy that you wanted to click into this video to see what's in my bag for the 2022 season. But before we go on to what's in my bag, I heard that you had some questions for me. Well, I would say yes, because I found some of my weaknesses from the 2021 season and took that with me into the off season trying to improve for instance my length in shots and also my physical endurance because uh, at the end of the 2021 season i felt that my bag was so heavy to carry i know that i carry a lot of stuff though but still uh, so that's what i wanted to improve and i asked my fiance like how should i do that and he said like you should put a bag with 10 kilos on your back and just walk whenever you had time <laughs> to do so. So that's what I did actually. So I really hope that that pays off now in the 2022 season. And of course, I'm also trying to improve what I felt was my strength in from the 2021 season, like my mental game and also the putting. Uh, some goals I want to keep to myself but I can say that of course I want to defend my Norwegian championship title of course and also be able to be more visible on the international stage as well okay then so let's head over to my bag I can start by telling you that I have the Seeger bag, which is produced by Guru, and I really like this bag because I feel that it's really ergonomically designed for my back, which is important when you're out on a course for three to four hours at a time. And of course, also it has a lot of storage, which for me is important because I used to usually tend to bring a lot of stuff with me on a course. And one of the things that I bring for one round is food and water. Usually before a tournament, I feel kind of nervous in the morning and that makes me not hungry, but I eat, usually eat something, but it's not enough to keep me full of energy throughout a full round. So what I do is I have some fast carbs with me, but also I bring slow carbs, which uh, <laughs> this one is maybe I'm the only one in Norway doing this. As a disc golfer, I bring what is called the Altunmat. It's um, what do you call field meal. <laughs> uh, this is uh, dry freeze food. So I boil some water and put it in a thermos and bring it with me to the course. And then right before my run starts, I prepare it in something like this. And then I eat it throughout the round. In my smaller pockets, I also have something funny uh, which is this nut it came from the prince ferdinand course in the Euro from the european championship in konopista in the czech republic and i found it throughout one of the rounds and i just felt it was so it was, it was a pretty nice nut and it, it makes me happy to watch this because at that time I was kind of confident with myself in all my shots. So it brings me joy to have this in my bag. So that's the only reason why I have it. And in addition to the slow carbs, of course, the fast carbs, which is usually some snacks or something and tons of water. Okay then, let's head over to the real game. And before I head off with showing you the discs, I want to show you this. Because for me, this is a symbol of the mental game. Whenever I play this down, I know that it's time for me to do the shot out on the course or to do the putting. And that means I had to clear my head for any distractions and only focus on one task or zero tasks at all. Only let the body 
do what it's supposed to do. So yeah, that was <laughs> some uh, a tiny bit inside in what's going on in my head and a mental game there. Okay, so let's head over to the discs. For my putting putters, I used the Latitude Pure in serum medium. In 2020, I wanted to have a more straight putter. I used to putt with Judge, so I wanted to reduce the extra fade at the end, and I felt this was a more comfortable putter that I could aim more straight for at the basket. So that's why, and I still have it from the 2020 season, and I love them. For my throwing putters, I have a classic blend deputy, which is my understable putter. I can throw it straight, and I know that I will turn to the left. And I had to say that I am a lefty, so for any of you <laughs> not figuring this out yet, yeah. And I also like to use deputy for some up shots on hyzer flips as well. The next putter that I have in my bag is the Classic Blend Judge. Uh, this one I've had for quite a while now, so <laughs> you can see all the marks on it, but this is my straight putter and I can put it on any angle and I know that I will hold that angle. So this is a really nice disc. My more overstable putters, Zone and Star Rhino. For the 2021 season, I only used Zone, but this off season, I also started trying out the Star Rhino simply because uh, I felt that I hadn't beaded the Zone in as much as I wanted to, so it faded a bit too early for me. Uh, but this one I stole from my fiance's bag, and it's perfect beaded in. So, yeah, you won't see this one for the 2022 season. Okay, so now over to my mid ranges. This one is the gold claymore that I use for my understable shots. I said that I used my deputy, but this one, of course, has more glide and I get more length with it. And I can also use it as a hyzer flip forehand shot if I need that in the woods. This one is one of my newest addition in the bag. It's the Royal Trust and of course shout out to Toby Dice for his sick on dying the discs. I used to having Compass as my go-to driver and I had tons of them in my bag for different shots. But now I, I started using the Trust. I'm not sure if Trust might be my new go-to mid-range actually because I feel that they might serve the same purpose uh, and if I get to beat different trusts in as I want to to have for different shots then maybe this has to go but we'll see <laughs> I haven't decided yet my more overstable mid-ranges one of them is the Verdict in Lucid X Plastic uh, from the Chris Clemens Chameleon, uh, the team series. And this one, I feel that it has a lot of glide, but as well, always will fade to the right. Unless there is an enormous amount of wind. And that's when I have my best OS to go to and also for any problems that I might have in the bushes or whatever this is a fantastic disc that can save me from whatever <laughs> and also shout out to the disc golf community in Canada I went there as an abroad student for in 2017 and I tried uh, one tournament there and one of the guys there he gave me this one so thank you Jag hoppar du ser det. Ja, det känns bra. Ja, ja. ja. Det kan vi sörja på att göra det då. Ja. <laughs> okay, now over to my fairway drivers. First out is the Escape. I usually have two or three in my bag at the same time because they are differently beaded in and 
Uh, one of them is kind of dead straight and the other one is turn for turnover shots for further distance as well. And I also carry different bead in muskets. They kind of do the same as my escapes, but with the muskets, I feel that I get even more glide when I need even further shots. So that's what they're good for. Another new addition to my bag is the Star TL3 that I feel pretty confident with for my forehand shots and also backhand shots when I need the extra fade at the end. And of course I bag my Felon which is for more windy days when I need to have a more stable disc that can handle the wind. One new addition as well to my bag is the Royal Grace. This one I did put in because I felt that it has tons of extra glide, meaning free distance basically. And I usually tend to carry two of them, one that is more beat in than the other one. I also have a star weight in my bag uh, that is kind of beat in and I'm Right now I'm not sure that both Grace and this star weight will have a spot in my bag throughout the whole season because one is not too windy and in the shape that this one is in right now I kind of feel that they serve the same purpose right now. So we'll see. I also have another wraith in my bag which is a halo wraith and this one is insanely overstable and it's even more overstable than my Star Destroyer here. So whatever wind this destroyer can't handle, then I tend to go to this raid over here, as well as <coughs> this stiletto that also can handle a lot of wind. Okay then, that was it for my In The Bag 2022. I'm really looking forward to use it on tour this season and I hope to see you out there. Take care.